writing is my passion. That's what I love to do. And that's what um, you see here today is a screenplay that's going to teach you a little something about also relationships. Um, women finding themselves in situations and not even knowing if they're in relationships. So we talk a little bit about that. Um, the character Brooke, she's very strong in the sense where she's um, the kind of woman that's very encouraging to other women. She doesn't talk down to women even if they've made a mistake she wants to help pull them in the right direction i realized what i thought i had it was merely an illusion of what i wanted yeah pretty much two years of my life i just had to write off oh wow, wow. That, yeah. i can imagine that was very difficult it was yeah. it was but it was needed yeah. and but the way that you wrote it it kept me from feeling demeaning and mm -hmm. Your blog, along with some hot yoga <laughs> and some healing techniques, uh -huh. girl, it did the trick. It, got, it really helped me get through a tough time. I just wanted to thank you. You are so welcome. You know, queens recognize queens. Oh. My long-term goal with any project that I ever work on is to educate people, to show them a story in a different way, and to just give them something to take away with them that helps them grow further. I heard you had a date the other day. Who told you that? A little birdie. Yeah. Okay, que pasó? What? No connection? Mm, no, not really. He was smart, he was funny, but with him, I feel like he's used to a woman putting forth all the effort in a relationship. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Let me tell you something. When I met Talia, I got to know her more. Mm -hmm. And then I asked her father for marriage. See, that's the thing. You're a great catch. But guys nowadays, it's tragic. They want a woman to put forth everything. And with me, I'm not going to chase behind any man. I hear that. All right, primero, salud. Salud. When I wrote this play, I thought about that little girl that I was growing up, um, always seeing one thing on television and never seeing what I particularly look like. And I said, maybe there are other little girls out there that, that are like me, that grew up saying, well, if I don't look that like that, then maybe I'm not beautiful. Maybe I'm not pretty. And so <clears throat> this film is for that little girl that's sitting at home wondering, if I don't fit into this particular standard, can I still be considered beautiful? And she is. So why are we here? Basically, to make any film, what do you need? You need money. Any donation in any monetary amount mm -hmm. would greatly go towards um, helping with the actual production of the film. That is equipment, that is production um, from getting things on set, from set design, paying my actors, to feeding the actors because they have to eat, and also post-production because a lot of money goes into post-production with sound and editing. So that's where I need you all to help out, please. <laughs> so that's what we're basically here to uh, obtain funding for this movie, Perfect Tim.